All right, everybody, good evening. I know that the schedule, the full NFL schedule for 2023 is now out, and a lot of people are talking about that. A lot of people excited about that once again. I have not looked at it yet as of the time of this recording, so if you want to see me do a live reaction to it, Hawk's Nest stream tonight over on his channel, 7 p.m. Pacific approximately. Me and him are going to react to the schedule. And then after that, we're going on Twitch for Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Okay, so let's talk about something that has nothing to do with the schedule for this video. Mario Edwards. That's right, the Seahawks have signed a player. Defensive end Mario Edwards is now on a one-year deal. Entering his ninth NFL season, Mario Edwards is a guy who's bounced around the league quite a bit over his extensive career. And now he stops in with Seattle. And this is definitely related to the Tyler Lockett, um, the uh, Tyler Lockett restructuring, freed up a little bit of money. Uh, like I said in the previous video, I think we're going to have to make one more move, and I stand by that. But um, for now, we don't have to. Remember, you don't have to get under the cap until before the season. We've got many, many months before we have to make that decision. But uh, Mario Edwards is being brought in on a one-year deal. Uh, just to briefly talk about what he is as a player, he's listed as a defensive end, and I think PFF lists him as an edge. But if you take a look at him, 6'3", 280 pounds, if he's anywhere near that weight, there's no way he's going to be a edge rusher in this defense. He's going to be a 3-4 end. And this is exactly the kind of thing I was hoping we could do. And it didn't really matter to me that much who it was. The only thing that mattered to me was that we did it that we brought in one more guy who we felt at least okay about on our defensive line. Mario Edwards can be that guy for sure, and I do think he'll make the roster, although it's not guaranteed, I will admit. I do think that Mario Edwards probably makes the roster and becomes at least a contributing player. Now, like I said, he's been bouncing all over the league since he entered. He's been on the uh, Raiders back when they were in Oakland. Spent a year in New York, a year in New Orleans, two years in Chicago, and last year he was in Tennessee, actually started seven games last year, had three sacks, actually kind of one of his better years in terms of volume stats. Um, the thing that kind of stands out to me here, though, is that last year he actually played a significant number of snaps for that Titans defense. In fact, in the games he actually played, he played over half the snaps, 464. Now, hopefully... Things are such on our defense this year that we don't have to have him play that many snaps. That's a substantial number of snaps for a guy who is clearly a more mid-level type player at best. But he can take on a reasonably heavy load. So, gotta kind of appreciate that because you never know. We might end up needing him to play a bigger load. Uh, as of right now, one of our starting defensive ends is still Reed, Jaron Reed. So I look at that and I go, hey, he could be okay, but he could also really not be okay. Uh, PFF, as for them, they thought he played okay last year overall. They liked his run defense. By the way, he played for the Titans last year. The Titans had the best or second best run defense in the league last year. So, hey, that's cool, right? He was a pretty significant part of that. So they graded him out okay last year. The year before, not so much. They didn't like him quite as much. If, and then the year before that, they loved him. They uh, gave him the Puna Ford treatment, the old Puna Ford treatment, the old Al Woods treatment back when they thought Al Woods was basically like the MVP of the league. So Mario Edwards, if I had to guess right now, you take a look at the depth chart I wrote out. Obviously, you've got Draymond Jones, and I still think Jaron Reed's the starter, or at the very least, he's the guy who plays the most snaps. You've got uh, Mike Morris. I still think that with his experience from college... And with the level of excitement there was in the building when we brought him in, he's still one of the top backups. But I do think that a guy like Mario Edwards kind of nestles in right next to him. So the way I'm seeing this now is that we go to Mario Edwards right here. And that becomes green, I think, because that's a guy like a Mario Edwards being your fourth defensive end. That's pretty good. That's pretty solid. And then... Uh, Adams goes here, and then we try to get Tavai on the practice squad. I still like him. I still think he's intriguing. He's still one of my favorite UDFAs we picked up. But at this point, I can no longer say that he really has a place on the 53-man uh, 
You're just not going to carry six defensive ends in a 3-4 defense, I don't think. And hopefully we can put him on the practice squad. So he just takes the place of Ferguson, and everything else just kind of stays the same. That still leaves you with 53 players and 16 practice squatters. And it really helps firm up the middle just a little bit. Now you're talking about, really, four guys that you feel pretty good about. And then you got Miles Adams, who honestly, if he's your fifth end, I'm going to go ahead and say that's totally fine. Like, as a fifth end, you're not going to play that much. And Miles Adams has shown enough to be worthy of a few snaps a game. So, at this point, this defensive line, yeah, it's not a great defensive line, but it's a legitimate defensive line. It's an NFL caliber defensive line. And I appreciate that. I, I think this signing is actually a non-trivial deal. So happy to hear it. Good to have him on board. Uh, he was not somebody that I looked at in the video I made about defensive linemen a few days ago, but he's like that guy. And when I say that guy, what I mean is he is a guy who is approximately on the level of the guys I was looking at. Like, Maybe he's not quite Shelby Harris, but honestly, there's probably not a big difference between the two at this point. I don't think he's Matt Ioannidis, but the other guys, Chris Wormley, guys like that, Mario Edwards is probably about as good as those guys. So we don't know what the money is, so I'm not really going to talk about the money. It's probably going to be like a million and a half, if I had to guess. Maybe maybe Vet Min, honestly. like He's still a free agent now, so there wasn't a ton of money out there for him, obviously. So Mario Edwards, after he gets brought on, you're probably looking at being about two and a half milli over the cap effectively. So the ideal, the ideal at this point would be to extend Nwosu, free up about five million bucks, and then you're good. Maybe at that point you have to do like one more little thing. Maybe you have to like move a little bit of money around to avoid year with somebody like Phil Haynes. I don't know. But um, at that point, that would give you like three million, maybe two and a half million bucks to work with, with when the season starts. And that should be enough. That should be enough. You're playing with fire a little bit, but it should be okay. You should be able to live with that. All right. So that's the way I see things breaking out now. I think this signing matters. I think he will play. I think he'll play a significant role if I had to guess. And that's really all you can ask for. So yeah, I know there's a lot of stuff going on today. Football and non-football. There's a, obviously a Kraken game, but uh, hey, this is significant. Also, other things that are significant, we've got Jackson Smith Najigba having signed with the Seahawks, so he is now brought on board on his rookie deal, and Cameron Young, Oluolo Watimi, and Jarek Reed. And we're clearly trying to knock all this uh, stuff out because rookie minicamp starts tomorrow. I'll talk more about that tomorrow. But uh, we're clearly trying to make sure these guys are under contract as much as possible before we get to the uh, um, rookie minicamp. But, uh, yep, that's what's going on. So Mario Edwards, new Seahawk, seems good to me. Um, he's not going to be anything amazing, I don't think, but he will be good enough to play. And that's all you can ask for at this point in the offseason. See you guys soon. Go Hawks.